What's up everybody, Tindo here. Good morning, at least it's morning for me. I don't know what time it is where you're watching, but we woke up nice and early this morning to get to the Goodwill Bins at Open. We're gonna be there as soon as the doors open. So stick around for that, and then we're gonna do a little half off Monday at Savers after that. It's gonna be a fun day, so make sure you're here for it. bin looks promising there's some bags full of toys baby Rubik's cube bunch of nonsense really but Fez another baby Rubik's cube more Pez Surf's up. More Disneyland buttons. Ooh, look at this Arizona patch. Let's go, I need more of that. Boston Red Sox pin, I'm gonna be here for a little while. Trolls. Oh, we got Pokemon cards. Oh, there's a lot of them too. Sweet. So we just rolled up and I've already got a bunch of jeans, which is really great. But look at this. It's a 90s dress with kitties. Ah. I found all kinds of crazy stuff already. I got a box full of Pokemon cards, Nerf stuff, Pez, just all my normal little stuff that we use. And this bin has some weak peripherals in it, so they're all a little bit tangled, as things in the bins often are. But we're gonna get them out of there. Especially, especially the video cables, even though they're aftermarket, I can use them. It's so tangled. Come on, Wii Cables. What are you wrapped around? I can't figure out what it's wrapped around. <laughs> it's down there. Here we go. Progress. All right. Regular power supply, aftermarket uh, video cables. Okay. I could use those all day. Oh, she's so pretty. Wow. That's some 70s goodness there. It's a bit on the stained side, which really sucks, but it's pretty. And here's a jail suit. <laughs> Do you know what this is? A transfer paper? It's a like a $30 roll of vinyl transfer paper. That's insane. You don't have any idea how much we need that. Just found this little cutie. Got little heart buttons. LA Blues is good for all that little cutesy stuff. These are pretty, this is pretty cute. It's probably 80s. It's a nice crop jacket, so definitely worth it. This is pretty cool too. It's a little basic, but it's the bins, so as long as it's not broken, it's fine. This is interesting though. I personally won't wear it, but that will sell. They say the perfect costume does not exist. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm so excited. I need some more overalls in my life so bad. This is some 90s Cherokee. Let's go. Yes. All right, that ended up being a pretty quick trip to the bins. We got here at open and then we got out. We did a whole round and just filled the cart up and got out. We could stay here all day, but then we'd fill like four carts up. <laughs> These are all jeans to either sell, like we can sell the crap out of those guest jeans or Hannah's been customizing a bunch of stuff lately. And we'll actually talk about that a little bit uh, when we get home. We wanna show you something we've been customizing. Um, but that's it. And then I got a box full of nonsense and there's stuff for resale. This is awesome because this will allow me to sell a like $45 gun when I get it all together. And then, I don't know, there's some Legos in there, a couple computer hard drives to store some of this footage you're watching on. But uh, that's it for the bins. Let's keep moving. So it looks like today's going to work out pretty well because we went to the bins so early. We went when they opened and we left and we left just in time to get to Savers right after their opening. They opened their door like five minutes ago. So we'll probably have to wait outside in line it looks like to get in, but it's going to be worth it. Thankfully there's some shade out here in line. First time I've seen some video games in here in a little while. Man vs. Wild. <laughs> Well, this is peculiar. Something very specific to have so many of. 
There's a whole lot of Nerf guns here. I don't see anything worth getting. If that were intact, it would be worth getting. There's a thing that clips in here and the priming knobs, all gone. Ooh, no, thank you. A dollar basket. It's half off day, if I didn't say that already. It's half off day, so it's a dollar. All right, got some wildflower hoarding wear containers. So it's $17.99 for all four of them. That's almost worth it, but not quite. Look at this beauty. I had one not terribly different from this, and I ended up uh, giving it away to somebody. And then since then, we've set up our new workshop, and I've been wanting just a little nothing TV to test some of my VHS that I resell, and then, of course, test some uh, retro consoles and stuff on it. I really want this, but I don't want to pay 15 bucks for it, though that's not really the worst deal. I'm gonna think about it. I should probably go plug it up, pop a VHS in, and see if it works. I think Savers is being suggestive that I need to go clean my house. All right, we're looking for a VHS to test this bad boy with because we're probably going to get it. Let's see, let's see. All right, what are we testing? Pick a movie. I'm between Austin Powers and Twister, both classics. Ooh, but Rugrats, though. Cute with a question mark. Let's see, this bad boy works. It's turned on. Yeah, baby. Are you ready? No. Stories of coincidence and chance and interest. That sucks. It is expensive, but I think I'm going to paint it yellow. <laughs> Bruh, I bought a TV because that's what you do. But I've always wanted a TV small enough to actually fit on my gaming shelves, just kind of like maybe put it in the middle of the Sega shelf and always have a sonic loop running on it or something like that. I don't know. I'm not saying that's what I'm gonna do, but I do think I'm gonna give it a paint job. I don't know, painting it yellow and then putting it on the yellow shelves wouldn't really be ideal, but at the same time, I don't know. I don't really wanna paint it any other color. I think I might just give it some yellow accents or something, but I do think I'm gonna put some paint on it and then I'll redo all the lettering on the other stuff on the paneling with some vinyl stickers or something. I think it'd be cool to paint yellow. It'd be like a floating screen. Oh, so it'd just be like there's a little, just a little screen right in the middle of my shelves. Yeah. All right, well, Hannah said I gotta paint it yellow, so mark her words. Last stop of the day, I'm gonna be quiet for a second. Can you hear that distinctly in the background? There's a gentleman on the corner playing a saxophone under an umbrella. Don't know if I've ever seen that, but all right, we're gonna go to this Goodwill and uh, wrap the day up after this one, I think. I think, no promises. Oh my God, it's majestic. Oh, it's a piggy bank. Oh my God, someone made it. Oh, I love it. Oh, baby. I'll take that. Interesting. There's a lot here. There's a whole lot here. Okay, so, two things. Essential oils. I've been doing some candle stuff, so I'm just gonna get these so I can scent some unscented candles. Also, normal. Didn't expect that. Why are they eyeballs? We were at this Goodwill like four or five days ago. It was all right, we bought a couple things. I think I got a calculator or maybe we just saw one here. They have restocked a ton. Look at all these nerve parts priced individually. Hellfire, three bucks, oh yes, yes please. And the reason that it's, uh, all these clips are here is because they go inside of this gun, but they've priced them individually, so. 349 for that, that was crazy, crazy good. Ah, it's a little vintage sifter, it's cute. It's only dollar forty nine, so let's get that. Well, here's something to look at. Uh, 549 for a rival clip, a rival case with extra balls, a bunch of nerf darts, a nerf grip, a nerf two nerf doublers. 
Probably have to get that. It's kind of on the edge. And then what is this? Magic noodles. Excuse me? One of the booths that we want to open up sooner rather than later is going to be an antique furniture booth. And this would be great for that. Look at it. This little motif in the back, so pretty. The drawers are like lined with a uh, cute little vintage wallpaper. Very nice. It's got the little wheels on the bottom. It's a piece of crap. So I was on my way over here to the jeans section to check out what they have. And on my way over here, I noticed a girl who had a pair of jeans that I would have really loved. But there is another pair here, and by the looks of it, it's probably better that she got it anyway, because that's a little too spendy for me. So I'm glad she got them. Check this Hello Kitty game out. $6 value, but I don't think I have it, which means I need to get it. But look at this, $16 Connect Ooh. game. I didn't think that any Connect game was worth something, but I guess price charting says 16 bucks. I mean, I don't have it and I've never seen it, so I'll put it in the get pile. Smackdown. Pretty sure I've got this one. Well, doesn't matter if I do or not. I mean, look at this disgusting copy of uh, Sly Cooper. It's gross. Ooh, it like cracks when you open it. Ooh, and it's dirty under ooh. the. Ooh, it's like got dirt ooh. under the. Ooh. It's all right. We can uh, put this over here in the gnaw pile. And then the Shrek the Third. I don't know. But I don't know if I have it or not. I do, but I don't have platinum hits. I gotta see if I have the Hello Kitty. I don't know. Bookman's had it for $15. Is that how much it has on it? Right, let's see. Hello Kitty Seasons. I do have it, but it's only a $5 game, so we don't need to get it. All right. Good to know. As I thought, I do not have Harry Potter Connect. Baja 1000, though. I don't know. Baja. Mm, that makes me want Taco Bell. Does it now? <laughs> Score. All right, well, we don't have that. And I know I don't have this. This looks dope. Oh, that's kind of fun. Blast works. Watch me have it. I do not. All right, so I'm definitely getting those. That's what we're leaving with. We've got a really big sales day at one of our resale booths that I need as many Lego containers for as I can get. We'll talk more about this in the next week or so worth of videos. I need that and for a dollar, it's great. All right, I also dug out this copy of NHL Hits. I didn't see it on my first pass, but we got it now. So pretty happy about that. Look how pretty it is. It's in perfect condition. Mm -hmm. It's so bright. It's so bright outside. Well, that was a nice little cherry on top of my day. I actually got some video games I'm excited about. I got a... A sifter? Sifter! <laughs> <laughs> and check this out. A few games, Nerf stuff, all good. All right, let's, uh, let's go do something else. Check this out. We brought our rolly cart from inside so we can take all these jeans in. Normally we take the rolly cart with us uh, whenever we go thrifting. So whenever we bring stuff home, we just toss it all in there and we're ready to go. But that didn't happen today. There's just too much stuff in the van. I didn't really feel like dragging it out, but I regret it. Never leave the house without your rolly cart. That's what I'm saying. Cause you're gonna come home with like 600 pairs of jeans. You're not gonna have anything to put them in. So pumped about this TV, let's go. Is that everything? Yep. All right. Walk it out with the rolly cart. See if you can do it without dropping anything. Ooh, walk it out. It's heavier than I thought. <laughs> Just a girl in her cart. What do you call that walk? Cover? That is pretty crazy though, coming home from the thrift store with that much stuff. That's what the bins does. We don't always come home with that much, but uh, it's really a huge blessing in disguise being able to go back to the bins now because we sell so much clothing. All those jeans right there, like it, we've had a good week this week because of just going to the bins a few days ago. Uh, it's just made our sales go back up and this stuff will only make it continue to. That's just stuff that we usually, before coronavirus, we're selling like 10 of a week, you know, just regular old Levi's. We'd sell 10 pair a week on a bad week, you know? But uh, during and slightly after coronavirus, that was not possible, but we're getting back to normal now that we can go to the bins. High five to the face. So you know how earlier in the video I said I didn't have a green basket? I literally bought one yesterday. It's not the same shade green though. So I'm not colorblind. I just 
It looked different. <laughs> it's same, same, but different. Had us testing a little wee before we send them out the door. How's it going? It's going great. So far, so good. High five to the face. <laughs> Seriously though, we've got like so many Wii's up for sale right now and people texting us at all hours of the night, messaging us rather on offer up saying, Hey, I'd like to buy that Wii and then someone someone literally messaged at the same time on offer up and eBay about the same Wii. We were like, It's gotta be the same person. It's not. It's just no one people people won't leave us alone. They want our Wii's <laughs> They want our Wii <laughs> Look at that. So we're about to film our wrap up, but I want you to look at this. The little TV, it's gonna be in the background of all of our videos from now on. I think for now, I'm gonna leave it back here on the shelves. I kind of think like, it'd be nice to just have it dead in the center of the room, surrounded by games, always running the loop of some video game or some VHS that I put in. It's mostly decorative, but we'll use it to test stuff whenever we're ready to plug stuff up, but I'm very happy with that. Look at this Dragon Ball Z action. Does it look good? All right, let's get this video wrapped up. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. All right, there we go. Let's get this video wrapped up. I'm gonna go ahead and start with a couple things we have here that I'm super excited about. This is vinyl transfer paper, or just transfer paper. So when you get a vinyl decal sticker that goes on the back of your car window, let's say, you peel it off the paper, and that's what this is. This is what peels it off the plastic that it's stuck to. You stick this stuff to your window, and when you peel it away, it leaves the sticker behind. And I just ordered a big roll of this stuff. Um, not this big, but maybe half, maybe even a third of this size, and I paid like 20, 30 bucks for it. Uh, and this is just tons. I'm, I'm not gonna run out for a little while. That's so exciting. It's crazy it was just sitting there at the bins. And this is the stuff I like too because a lot of the times when you buy rolls of this, it's on, it's stuck to another paper, but this kind of like an actual roll of tape is just stuck to its own backing. So, there's not a lot of extra steps using this. This is my favorite kind, this is what I already ordered. The fact it was just sitting at the bins today. Wow. Yeah, really wild, especially since we've been making a lot of decals and stuff to sell on, you know, selling our toy booths and stuff. It's very nice to find that. So that was definitely one of my finds of the day, to just get that out of the way. All right, let's just talk about your clothes and masks. We don't have to go through, we can show a couple of the fancier things, but let's tell them the main reason you bought most of these jeans today. Because yeah. I told you earlier we were gonna talk about it again, and I definitely wanna get this. I, want, I definitely wanna get this in an episode, because it's kind of wild what she's been doing. <laughs> it is, and it's wild because it's working. Um, the last couple of trips we went to the bins, I've picked up these specific brands of jeans, Levi's and Wranglers, to cut apart and put like different washes together and what I mean by that is like this that so. is two pairs of jeans cut into thirds not just uh, fourths so two third I'm thirds. Yeah, I'm confused it's thirds <laughs> but you know black with a, a light wash denim I made these last night and I sold them before I woke up yeah. So. <laughs> and that's not the first time this week that we've done that um, she's done it with a couple pairs of shorts and every single night we've posted them, we woke up and they sell. The shorts, you've been selling for 45, 50 ish. And the pants, that pair of pants, uh, you sold them for how much? 100 bucks. 100 bucks. Now, how much would those jeans have, now be honest here, how much would those jeans have sold Individually? separately? Yeah. Um, I would have been lucky to get $15 out of them six months from now. Because those jeans aren't special. Now, don't right. get me wrong, there are plenty of pairs of Levi's that we bring home and they're $100 Levi's. Right. I don't want to say plenty, that doesn't happen every day, but it happens. It's all about the sizing. The sizing of Levi's is what's important. So, like, what size sells the most? So, uh, the ones that you get a higher price out of for just the size are gonna be a 25, 26 inch waistband. And that's just supply and demand. That's not something we choose. If you get on Depop where we mainly sell clothes and you look up those sizes, that's what they're going for. Yeah. But the clever thing that you've done is you're able to sew those down to those sizes. Yes, these are, I think the black pair was a pair of 42s mm -hmm. and the blue pair was a pair of 36. Virtually 34s. unsellable. Yeah, they're just so common and you know, girls want to wear them. I'm a size 38, but I'm also a, a curvier woman. Well, you're also more average. Yeah. There's plenty of 38s or whatever you are. Yeah. There are plenty of them out there. So I, I thought some of you would be interested in seeing that because this is something that we did a lot of right before the coronavirus or we were getting into doing. Mm -hmm. We were really getting into customizing stuff. And uh, you know, our supply chain 
dried up. That's yeah. essentially what happened. But um, it's really a neat thing. And, I, you know, I don't know how long it's going to last. I don't know if that's something that's in style or yeah. what. But every time we post a pair, they sell. So that's pretty much what all of these are, correct? Yeah, this whole stack right here is just... Sorry. The things that I'm going to cut up. So I only got a bunch of blue stuff today, yeah. but yeah. I've got black denim stored. I've got white denim stored. It just things I'm just going to put them together. So you're going to make all kinds of different combinations. It's going to be exciting. All right. Well, let me go through a couple more things. We'll jump back to some of the other jeans that you got. Um, I had a paint gun and it, um, it was never good because I bought it kind of clogged up and never could quite bring it back to life. But this one's all right. It's not a terribly great one, but I'm hoping it works. If it does, maybe parts of our shelves that we have to paint, I can use it for. But I've never, the, the all these yellow shelves behind us are hand painted because we live in an apartment and there's no real easy way to like put plastic up and spray them without getting everything dirty or, you know, doing it outside. It's just not easy to do, but uh, we've just got so much of it to do that I, we're kind of getting tired of hand painting them. Because used to, like all of these, I brought I bought these home like once a month, you know what I mean? Yeah. And we painted one, it was no big deal, but it's getting to where, because of our toy boots and how much more we need for this place, it's getting to where we've got to paint a couple every week. We've got four of them right now that need to be yeah. painted. <laughs> yeah, just off screen, there's three or four of them that need to be painted. And I'm still probably not gonna be able to use this, but we're gonna try. I, don't, I might hang up some cloth curtains, plastic curtains, I don't know, we'll see, but um, I'm probably going to, when this video is over, maybe give this a little test and see if it works better than the last one I brought home. Uh, but yeah, back when I lived in Kentucky before we moved here, I had ample space to use those kinds of things and I would never be caught dead using a hand paintbrush to paint furniture. But that's one of my more favorite things I brought home today also. All right, let's 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 run through the rest of what you got there. I'll just, I can get these out of the way. These are just yeah. kids' t-shirts, nothing special. Spider-Man, uh, Pikachu. Got some good Pokemon ones today. Oh yeah, solid. Pikachu one is nice. Uh, but these are selling real well in my toy booth. You know what's really funny? I didn't notice until just now. I have both of those t-shirts in that's, mini size. That's your painting shirt, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> that's, speak of the devil, that's the shirt she paints in. Uh, too bad that one wasn't big enough for me. Just kids shirts, $5 a piece in my toy booth all day, every day. All right, so you got another stack of nonsense. I did. I got a few, well, lots of jeans, but I did get a few random pieces. Um, these we sell on my, we both have a clothes selling app. And I've said this before, but we can sell kind of the girly specific stuff on hers and some of the other stuff on mine. But I, for whatever reason, people like buying Calvin Klein's off my page. Yeah. We'll put those up and we'll probably sell this week. You sell a ton of them and then I put them on my page, crickets. Crickets. So, who knows? Well, we both have, <laughs> we both have like 20 or 30,000 followers on those apps. We have kind of accumulated those followers quite separately. There's not a lot of overlap. So yeah. The people that are coming to my page are coming there for that stuff. For sure. These are a recent find. These are some rustler jeans. I've picked them up a few times now and just trying to see if they work. They look like a nice size. Yeah, they're pretty small, so it's good. What is that? I didn't <laughs> see that. This needs some explaining. Somebody so. quit halfway through their mitten job. <laughs> no, this is all it is. So... <laughs> is that what it's supposed to be? No. <laughs> okay. Um, festival wear is definitely something oh, that so it is a you top. sell a lot on Depop. So you can see in between the boobs. It's still upside down, but you know. <laughs> I'll get it right eventually. I see now. Yeah, that's the neck hole. Like 90. <laughs> Took me five tries, <laughs> but I got there. Um, this would be mucho scandy on me. So we're going to let somebody else wear it. <laughs> I've never heard the words mucho scandy. Okay, I don't Keep okay. going. Okay, so pair of nineties overalls. We sold out of these during the coronavirus. I'm not gonna hear anything <laughs> in the, my head for the rest of this video other than mucho scandy. Mucho scandy. I'm just gonna go over here and watch Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> oh, it's a vintage guest jeans. These it's are. It's the hard. part where Gohan, Gohan is. Uh, go ahead. Sorry. There's trunks. There's trunks. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Um. These are not something that's very easy to find, but when you do, they sell for a good amount. Um, we got vintage don't, Wranglers. Don't, don't mind me. Stop your is a copyright strike. Probably. Good call. <laughs> um, black Wrangler vintage. People like those. Yay. Um, this is a great explanation of jeans. Some Lee jeans. They don't have the little, little, Mole. little, you know. They're missing their tag. They are. I got 
90s dress. I don't like the long. I'm gonna hem it. You look. <laughs> I look better in the triangle. It's so bad. In the, in the mucho scandy. The mucho scandy. Um, a little cropped denim jacket. Very nice. It's there missing were... one shoulder pad, but I was gonna take those out anyway. Yeah. Strangely, there were a lot of denim jackets there today. There was. All right, I think what's left is all my nonsense, and believe me when I say this is grade A typical Ben's nonsense, okay? Some and this good. is, if you haven't been watching this long, uh, just know that we used to go to the Ben's all the time. This is exactly the kind of stuff I always brought home. Uh, but it's all, it's all for our toy booth, so, it, well, not all of it. Some of it has some really strange explanations, so definitely stick around for this. You're going to want to know what some of this is. Of course, this is just a vintage plush of the Martian dog, Martian... Nope, we don't know his name. Um, but yeah, that old, that stuff sells in my booth all the time. I actually brought home enough stuff to complete a... I think it's... Yeah, that, and then, didn't I get the chain too? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's on the other side. This is pretty awesome. To complete a Nerf Vulcan. All the time on the channel I show this big ridiculous Nerf gun in the thrift stores and say if you can complete one of these it's worth a little money. Now, it's not worth the time because it's so big you're not really going to sell it on eBay because shipping is going to kill you. Uh, I mean, I'm sure you can, but it's not going to be the greatest deal. But because we have our toy booths, this gun, I've sold three or four of them since we opened our toy booths. And they're $35, $45, depending on the condition. I'm pretty sure we were able to get $45 out of the last one, which was a bit of a surprise, because I usually just blanket price them $35, because uh, they do sit for a while. Not everybody's bringing their kid to the junk store and saying, oh, sure, you can buy the biggest Nerf gun I've ever seen. <laughs> so there's that. At one time, I don't know if this is still true, it, it might be... But at one time, this was considered the highest capacity Nerf gun because you could put, I think, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I got it right. Eight clips in this. So you could, at one time, take eight of the taller clips and put it in here. It turned into a ridiculous gun. Um, and then that would be the highest capacity darts of ammunition you could get in a Nerf blaster. And um, I kind of doubt that's true now. Because uh, there's other guns that you can put multiple barrels in and it gets kind of crazy uh, But it's neat you have a you have a clip with darts and then once that clip is uh, Finished you do this and it rotates that mechanism down there and it switches to the next clip Me. I remember well before we had this channel right when we started kind of reselling here and there I remember running up on one of these and just thinking what is that? It was crazy and we sold it on eBay for like 35 45 dollars probably the first time we ever sold a Nerf gun uh, And I remember the exact goodwill we got it at. I remember uh, that sale because we shipped it to Hawaii. Yeah it's pretty dope. So that that's a cool gun. Um, this was and that and this were not from the bins, of course. It was at that last stop we just went to. But there's just lots of nerf stuff in there, and uh, it's good because that will allow me to complete other guns. You can talk about that oh, real quick. Hey, I got a vintage sifter. Is that for you or for your booth? I'll put it in the booth. I want to see how they do. I like it. What, easy killer. I'm not sure what this design on the front is. Maybe. I don't know. Farmhouse Farm, something. Yeah, farmhouse something or other. Lego bin. Ooh, oh, that's was, mine. I didn't know what, I don't even know what that is. Um, this is aromatherapy scents. Are we going to huff them right now? I didn't get them for the aromatherapy therapeuticness. I got them for candles. Are they worth, like, am I going to... That one's probably not going to smell good, Am actually. I going to hurt myself? I think that's tea tree oil. <laughs> oh, mama. <laughs> Try this one. My fifth grade science teacher would be mad for me to be stick. I don't know why I always remember that. You gotta. Yeah, waft it. Don't just stick it in your nose hole. <laughs> your nose hole. That one is not pleasant. No, it's orange. That checks out. <laughs> it checks out. It's lavender. It was, but I don't know. It was like it wasn't citrusy. It was like. It's lavendery. It's very strong. <laughs> All right, let's move on because now my no my nostrils are opened up. More darts. Um, lots of weak peripherals, the power cable and video cables anyways. Um, we have a guy on the way right, well not right now, but like by the time we're done with this and put this stuff away, he should be here coming to buy yet but another Wii. I'm telling you what, Wii's got us through that coronavirus. I think they might have paid rent one month. <laughs> <I think so. laughs> They've slowed down a little bit, but they're still worth getting that stuff and selling them for, I don't know, what, we sell, what are we selling this one for? 80. 80. 
that makes me so happy the bins is open because during the coronavirus when we sold all those weeds all those weeds were stored up from the bins because all that stuff that we bought today at the bins is paid for by weight so you know a weed costs like four bucks yeah i bought a couple hard drives they were one terabytes western digital uh, hard drives and um, that's good because I before the, there's so much in my life right now that was like BC before coronavirus and AC <laughs> after coronavirus because I already had this plan to start buying up one terabyte hard drives because they show up so often at the bins matter of fact here's another one but it's still in its housing these literally are the exact same hard drive this one just has the uh, has it's pretty yeah I mean I don't you're not gonna be able to see in there too terribly well but uh, it's literally the exact same hard drive and I'm just going to actually take that out of the case. I have a reader that these can just slide in, and I'll keep posted notes on them that just say, oh, this is December, you know, January footage, February footage. Because uh, I have been only keeping certain files when we shoot these videos. I'm a bit of a digital hoarder. Mm -hmm. I would rather keep every single shot of everything we ever do for later use. You know what I mean? Because right now, if I want to go put a clip from yesterday's video in today's video, I actually go back and download yesterday's video from YouTube, which is obviously a lot lower quality file than my originals are. So I wanted to start, before the coronavirus, I wanted to start keeping stuff, but I didn't have enough of these stored up. But there's two in one day. So we go back tomorrow, I'll almost definitely bring back another one, which is why I bought those. So a terabyte goes a long way, at least for right now. We've been shooting in 1080p. When we started this channel, we were always doing 4K. Those are much larger file sizes. Not to get too technical on you here, but, um, if I keep shooting at 1080p, I could probably do one of these a month. Cool. Footage. I'd probably have to delete the editing files, but that's not a big deal. Footage is the, the main thing I'd like to preserve. This was a pretty good buy. This is going to look a little ridiculous to some of you. Uh, it's a wall mount for a speaker. Uh, for just a, a speaker to put on your wall so you can hear your music. Uh, I'm going to actually take that speaker plate off and put a little tripod mount. So uh, it's quite similar to the camera that you're watching us on. It's mounted to a little thing that's mounted to the wall. So I'll be able to hang up more cameras in here. Because, again, BC, before coronavirus, we had a live show going on where once a week we streamed, uh, just kind of and talked about things, sometimes played video games. Um, we definitely want to do that again. But I want things to be more permanent. Uh, my least favorite thing in the world is having to go to the other room and get a camera and bring another one in here and go over there and do that. So I've got enough of a very specific type of camera that I would like to just mount a few in this room and leave them and never have to plug anything up. Come in, hit record, and just go. So I need a couple more of those, actually, that mount. That's not. I, that's one. I need like three more to get that job done. So that was another good buy. But again, I hope you can hear the excitement in my voice. That's what's so great about the bins. That's just, that stuff, I will not, if I was going to order something similar to that on Amazon right now, I mean, we're talking 15, 20 bucks, and I just paid, you know, 20 cents for that thing, so that was awesome. I bought a couple of these, these are uh, uh, for Nerf, uh, a specific Nerf um, Super Soaker water gun, very specific one, and I'm just saving a few of those up for something else. A couple Nerf scopes, which is awesome, because again... We're gonna have this conversation 25 times a day because the bins is just awesome. Um, but I had I had enough Nerf scopes to fill like two five gallon buckets before coronavirus. And now that we're stocking these booths and I don't have those, um, it's good to be able to go back to the bins because every time you go to the bins, you can bring home two or three of these, right? So I'll be filling another big thing. Well, actually, I won't be filling anything up. So these need to go to my toy booth immediately because I have a whole section in our toy booths for Nerf scopes, and I don't have any. Uh, <laughs> you know what? I didn't even mean to buy this. It was This happens at the bins a lot. You'll throw stuff in your cart. You go, I'll look at this later, see if there's anything in here. It's just a bunch of Peter Pan toys. It's got like, you know hook and all those guys in it so we need to have like a, a punishment for when you buy something at the binge game too like you got you gotta go <laughs> you gotta walk the plank go sit on the floor and watch dragon ball z that's not a punishment is it <laughs> um another fun again i <laughs> it's got all this stuff disclaimer is gonna be this way i used to never buy screws right at all um you know just wood screws or screws with anchors and stuff i used to never buy them at the at home depot because they'll always show up like this because everybody in the world i guess uses two screws out of this 15 dollars box of screws and donates the rest goodwill so my store box of screws which is actually just off screen actually hold on to that real quick i'll bring the whole thing over 
We had to go to Home Depot and buy screws during the coronavirus, and it made me really sad. Well, af right after for our toy booths. Well, right before, right before, and right after, because the the bins closed down before anything else did. But this box is full of screws, and I have a hundred of these sorted boxes. One has nails, one has screws, one has nuts, one has bolts, and. Uh, Every little cup inside of it has a different set of screws. And this box was pretty much empty after coronavirus hit. And then we had to go restock all our toy booths. And I had to go actually spend money on screws, which is annoying. But these, these are good enough little wood screws. So like, all I'm gonna do is just, now I've got a refill of regular old wood screws. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that one even had its pilot <laughs> hole a little bit with it. So. Bonus. Yeah, and so, I probably, for the foreseeable future, even if we have to go open up a new toy booth tomorrow, I probably won't have to go to Home Depot. That's a real junker right there. When you won't even buy <laughs> screws, because you know you'll find them at the Goodwill. Comment below, is there anybody else like that? Some people watch us and think that kind of thing is crazy, but like, I was already a pretty cheap person, but after discovering the bins, it's like, there's just so much that it seems so pointless to me to spend money on. Yeah. And that's one of them. I'm telling you, come here, Right now, let's go to the bins. You'll walk in there, you'll find a box of screws, and you'll find a stack of sandpaper, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Like, it's just, don't go to Home Depot, go to the bins. I don't think you saw these, did you? No, I didn't. Check those out. Just a couple, uh, I think there might be a third one in here somewhere, but they're Disney World, Disneyland, Disneyland Whoa. buttons. We resell buttons quite a bit, as a lot of you know, so that was awesome. The baby Rubik's Cube. <laughs> Do you like that? I don't know how to do a Rubik's Cube. I don't, yeah, I've never really taken the time to figure it out. It's just a lot of mem it's like a memory game, you know, remembering where stuff goes. Ooh, we're close. I, uh, I also, watch. I also didn't mean to buy these. I don't know what they are. They're these little box thingies. And they have like marbles in them that like shoot out. I don't know. It was another thing I tossed in the cart to say, I'll look at this later. Um, let's see. There's a big stack of Pokemon cards. It did not look like anything good. These are going to be super fun with the cats. Oh, and yeah. Just launch it Mo across the room. <laughs> Mochi will just run after it. Yeah, it was not a large stack of Pokemon cards. That's pretty much it. And they're all pretty much common. Uh, but, again, anytime I bring home Pokemon... Whoa, I just saw... Something foil. Pour one out for Aww. the homie Raticate. Um, F some chat for Raticate. That's well. <laughs> um, there's a bunch of Pez. Not as many as I remember. Five to be exact. But one of them was the Wicked Witch, which I thought was neat. Sweet. I've never seen that one. Uh, very nice. And then pretty much everything else that's left in here is like Legos. <laughs> I, like I, I found one bin that had a big bunch of Legos in it, so I grabbed that and there's a patch too. We sell patches for two or three dollars a piece at our booth. I mean, they sell so well we're out of them. So yeah, that was a bunch of nonsense. Am I missing anything besides the video games? I don't I wouldn't know because there's bins. <laughs> yeah, because it was a big whirlwind. Oh yeah, I, I don't know if I say anything about the Pokemon 10, but I was buying these for a while at regular Goodwills for two or three dollars a piece, and I only sell them for like four or five, so that's a terrible deal. There's a cable for that hard drive I picked up. Hey. Um, but I've always been able to sell these for two or three dollars, which is a good deal when you get them at the bins because what does that weigh? An ounce? Less than. Almost free. Almost free. I did buy video games today, and Woo. I'm actually excited about today's games. We do have a Wii U plugged up in the bedroom, so we stick a Wii game in all the time just to say, hey, let's try something we haven't played. So, Blastworks. We have not played that, but comment below if you know about it. Tell us about it. Tell us if we should play it. And also this Harry Potter Connect game. I've played some of the regular Harry Potter games, but never the Connect. I do have a Connect. I do not have it plugged up. I really doubt it's worth it, but I don't know. Maybe someone watching will think so. Um, and then NHL hits 2003. I was about to pass it up because I thought I had it. And then I looked and I didn't have it. And then when I looked it up to see if I didn't have it, I saw it was like a $16 game. I mean, not the craziest find, but it's in perfect condition too, so that's good. Baja 1000. Score International Baja 1000. I thought I had it too, but I didn't. So I left with four games a day that are all almost playable. But uh, I'm actually really excited about that one. That's uh, Video game-wise, that's fine of the day for me right there. So let's talk fine of the days. What's your favorite thing that you got today? Oh, my goodness. Well... Hold on, I'm, I'm, I'll tell them mine. 
Yeah, that TV is for sure my favorite. I, I intended for it to be small back there because I want some cool accents behind us when we shoot these videos. Um, but that's even smaller on camera than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> it's like that big. Yeah. <laughs> it's tiny. What's your favorite thing that you got today? I mean, how do I choose? I got 87 pairs of jeans. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go with the... Well, yeah, I'll just go with the prospect of making more of these. Because I really, like, I dig this. Now... We don't ever advertise our clothes reselling to you guys. That's not why we're telling you about these things. But I know there's a lot of people that are watching that are resellers. And actually, there's it's been a really cool thing about our channel. There's been plenty of people to like let us know quite graciously that they got into reselling dishes because of you. Or yeah. some people have uh, been trying out jeans. We've even have had a lot of requests uh, for videos getting more into what we resell clothes-wise. Um, Specifically, people have made suggestions like, could you make videos just explaining what clothes you buy and why? And like how to know something is vintage. That's yeah, yeah. And that's a little bit difficult because we don't typically do that kind of thing on this channel. We, we definitely don't really make tutorial videos. What, what these videos are, are, are vlogs, essentially, our daily, what we're doing. And uh, you literally see 90% of what we do in a day because we just, we thrift, we come home, we make the video, and, and this is this is our life right now. This is what we do. So what we will continue to do since it's been asked for is we'll make sure we definitely put a little bit more of this kind of thing in here and just let you know as we go. So if you've had a question on your mind, um, the proper thing to do is not like, hey, will you make a video about this? Just make sure like you ask the questions you want to know in the comments and we'll definitely, as we're out shopping for clothes, or it doesn't just have to be closed. This whole explanation I'm giving is not just closed. It's an explanation of why we went through this today. Um, but if you want to know more, you can start going and looking at our Depop pages. The links for those are always below these videos. Some of you watching might not even know what Depop is. I know several people over in our Discord uh, know what it is because it, for a long time, has been a place where you can sell and buy almost anything. There's definitely a billion times more clothes than there are other things. But you can, up until the last time I checked, you could buy video games and stuff. Though yeah. things are always changing, so you never know on that app. But we just sell clothes on it. Uh, so yeah, we just we went through all that because we've had a lot of questions lately about what clothes Hannah sell. Pretty much because we went to the bins last week. And it's really the first time in a while where it was really just like, oh my god, look at all these clothes we bought. <laughs> I mean, Hannah buys jeans every day, but we that, that video we bought a big stack... And what did you buy, like 20 pairs a day? Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and get into that a little bit more from now on because, you know, uh, otherwise people are just going to be like, why did you buy those 35 pairs of jeans? But you guys, before we get out of here, comment below and let me know what your favorite thing that we got today was. Was it the big whole entire rolly cart full of jeans? Was it the Nerf guns? Was it the video games? For me, for sure, it's this TV. Look at Trunks. Look at him. I'm so happy about that little thing. I've always wanted a little one to fit right there on the shelf. That's going to be it, guys. Before we get out of here also, please do go check out our Discord. The link for it is below. Go click on it. It'll take you to this magical realm where you can come and chat with us and share pictures, which you can't do here in the YouTube comments, right? No. Nope. you got to come over to the Discord if you want to share a picture of what you've thrifted, etc., etc. Also, before we go, do me another favor and check out our merch store, tindostrash.com. Uh, it's also below, but it's also easy to type, so just go type tindostrash.com. It's a fun one to type. Right? Is it? It is. A lot of T's. <laughs> a lot of T's. Uh, but that's going to be it. The last thing I guess I could tell you is to hit that subscribe button. Maybe second to last. I've got one more. Second to last thing, hit that subscribe button pretty please. I think by the time you're watching this, we're either going to be right at 3,500. Um, or, or wait, I'm already confused. <laughs> I was like, I think we passed 35 yesterday. But Okay, well, we're zooming. Maybe by the time you watch this a month from now, we're at like five or 6,000. At any rate, we can't get to any of those new heights without your help. So if you're new on the channel, please hit that subscribe button and help us keep this momentum that we currently have. Now, the last thing, I want you to know that we shoot daily videos. We post daily videos here on YouTube. So make sure you come back tomorrow if you like what you saw. And until tomorrow, guys, peace out.